and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on Instagram and TikTok where I also talk about perfume. Today I'm really excited to talk about Just Jack. That is a brand that I'm just trying for the first time. I heard about them from one of my subscribers and I picked up a couple bottles and I have put them to the test. So if that sounds interesting to you, just stick around. Today I'm comparing Tom Ford Effing Fabulous to Just Jack Fantafab. And this was a viewer requested topic. So I went out and got a sample of Tom Ford from Scent Split. Um, so that was a good experience. I, that was the first time I'd ordered from Scent Split. They do decants, um, kind of expensive, but I guess Tom Ford just is. So, um, so I just, I put this on this arm and I put this on this arm. So Tom Ford Effing Fabulous has clary sage, lavender, bitter almond, leather, orris, vanilla, leather, tonka bean, cashmere, and white woods, and amber. And this is the first time I've tried it. And then um, this one I got a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's called Just Jack and it's a Tom Ford clone company that I've found on. Um, they're available on fragrancebuy.ca and perfumeonline.ca. I think I got this one on Perfume Online. So I just put this on about five minutes ago. Um, like I said, one on one arm, one on the other. And my first, I'm just gonna give you my first impressions. And this smells really good. This is um, smooth and sweet and deep, dark and delicious. And um, I'm liking it a lot. And this one smells pretty screechy. Um, I'm just gonna be completely honest. I really wanted to um, love this and find a really affordable clone for something very expensive, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen, but we'll give it a chance. Um, I will check in later, but my, my first impression is there's a sort of a similarity, but definitely not what I would call a dupe or a clone. Um, like I said, this is um, kind of screechy and uh, yeah, that's the only word I can really come up with at the moment. We'll see, it's just not a good first impression, I would say. Um, but I, you know, I am not so sure this is gonna last on me because I can already kind of smell it fading after just a few minutes. Um, and I've had that problem with Tom Ford is the not lasting. So we'll see if this has much longevity. Um, and it was very expensive. But anyway, that's, I think this is from the private line. That's why it's even more expensive than the regular line from Tom Ford. But it smells very good. Um, but it feels like it's fading. This one doesn't smell so good. It smells, it smells okay. But it's nothing I would choose to wear um, at this point. But it may surprise me. We'll see. I'll check in later on this. So it's about five hours later. And they actually smell much more similar now than they did initially. So I would say that the dry down, they smell pretty similar. Um, I still don't like this, <laughs> but um, it was only $20 and I'm sure I'm just gonna give it away. I don't think I could really get much for it if I tried to sell it. And this is nice initially and the dry down is, is fine too, but it doesn't last. Neither one really lasts that great. Um, they're both kind of almost gone at this point, which is fine. Good riddance. <laughs> no, but this one is nice, but not worth, to me, it's not worth the premium price that you would pay for this. So have you tried either of these? I would definitely love to hear your thoughts. Um, I would say these are a pass and I would, I have one other one I'm going to be talking about from this brand, but my first impressions are not too good. So, so we'll see if the second one is better. It's possible, but um, I may just be passing on this brand, which is too bad because it's nice to find a cheap alternative, but it just doesn't always work out. But this is actually a really high quality bottle. It's really nice frosted glass. The labeling's a little tacky, but what are you gonna do? It's 20 bucks. So, so those are my thoughts on Tom Ford Effing Fabulous and Just Jack Fanta Fab. Today I'm testing out Just Jack's Santal Bloom, which is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Santal Blush. And Santal Blush from Tom Ford has spices, caraway, cinnamon, fenugreek, carrot seeds, ylang-ylang, jasmine, rose, sandalwood, benzoin, Virginia cedar, musk, and oud. And um, so I just applied these 
probably three or four minutes ago and one on one arm, one on the other. And actually this one's not as bad, I don't think, as the um, Fanta Fab that I tried yesterday. But I have to say, I, I'm not a huge fan of either one particularly. I feel like this might be a better dupe than yesterday's was. So I, I don't know yet if it's actually a dupe or if it's similar or obviously I just put it on. So I don't have my full thoughts on this formed yet. But my first impression is it seems like a better match. If you like Centel blush, I don't think I like Centel blush. Um, I don't know if it's that fenugreek or something. I remember I got fenugreek from our um, our local co-op um, grocery store. This was years ago and it's, a, it's an odd, for me, it was an odd flavor and I didn't enjoy it. So this has some kind of odd notes in it and it's it's not bad, but it's, it's not my style. It's not something that I really enjoy. Um, it's very like, it smells like the notes. It's very spicy and kind of savory and not really food-like, but it's just not my thing. Um, but this one smells fairly similar and not bad. I might even like this, I might even like this one better. <laughs> but um, so that is my initial thoughts on the Tom Ford Santal Blush versus Just Jack Santal Bloom. So here are my final thoughts on Santal Blush versus Santal Bloom. Um, this is Tom Ford Santal Blush, and I can, it's like six hours later now, and I can still smell it, and it's not bad. It's just not my thing. Um, so this has actually pretty decent lasting power for me. And then the Santal Bloom from Just Jack um, is very much gone. <laughs> um, this really, really had poor lasting power. The smell of it actually didn't bother me. I initially liked the smell of this better than this, but the longevity on this one was really poor, like less than an hour. It seemed like it was like whoosh, gone. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this one for that reason, but actually the smell was not bad and it was pretty similar to this. I just really didn't like either of them that much. Um, those are my kind of final thoughts. I don't have a very great impression of just Jack. Um, just kind of thinking about the two that I've sampled anyway. I don't know that I would be up for trying more because I just don't want to have more bottles laying around that I'm not interested in. Um, so I probably won't try more. Um, I would be really interested in knowing if you've tried any of them and what your thoughts are. Have you tried Santal Blush? What are your thoughts on this one? Um, uh, I was kind of impressed that it lasted because I normally have lasting issues with Tom Ford fragrances. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much.